Today we look at a story of an extremely strong woman who was tortured in some of the most barbaric ways history has ever seen. Today we look at the sad story of Anne Askew, a Tudor martyr. Remember, if you do enjoy our videos, please support the channel by subscribing. Anne Askew was the second daughter of Sir William Askew and was born in Stallingborough in 1521. Her father was a relatively wealthy landowner and was knighted in 1513 and around the time of Anne's birth was appointed the High Sheriff of Lincolnshire. Anne received a good education and was home tutored, but at the age of 15, her family forced her to marry Thomas Kime. Anne was not entirely compliant on this and refused to adopt her husband's surname, and the couple would argue about religion constantly. Anne was a supporter of Martin Luther and his ideas about reforming the Catholic Church. However, her husband was a devout Catholic. From reading the Bible, Anne believed she had the right to divorce her husband. Anne was highly intelligent and extremely passionate about her views, which would land her in extreme trouble. In 1544, she travelled to London to meet with the then monarch, the infamous Henry VIII, to request a divorce from her husband. This request was denied, and a spy was assigned to keep a close eye on her behaviour. In March 1545, she was arrested on suspicion of heresy. The religious crime of heresy in the Tudor era was extremely serious and came with rather grave consequences. Anne was questioned about a book she was carrying, which was written by the Protestant priest John Frith, who in 1533 had been burnt at the stake. She was interviewed by the Bishop of London, Edward Bonner, who gained the nickname Bloody Bonner due to his brutal treatment and persecution of heretics. After a great deal of debate, Anne was persuaded into signing a confession. She was released after 12 days in prison and was sent back to her husband. Upon her return to Lincolnshire, she would live with her brother, Sir Francis Askew. In early 1546, conservatives within the Church of England began to plot to destroy radical Protestants. Led by Stephen Gardiner, the Bishop of Winchester, Henry VIII gave his support to this. In May 1546, Henry gave his permission for the arrest of 23 people suspected of heresy, and this included Anne Askew. Anne was selected because Gardiner believed she was associated with Henry's sixth wife, Catherine Parr. Catherine Parr had previously been critical of new legislation passed about religion. Anne was thrown into the Tower of London, and Gardiner instructed the constable of the Tower, Sir Anthony Kingston, to torture Askew in an attempt to get her to name Catherine Parr and other leading Protestants as heretics. Kingston initially complained about having to torture a woman, as it was illegal to do so at the time. However, the Lord Chancellor, Thomas Ryersley, and his assistant Richard Rich, took control of operating the brutal rack. Anne was thrown onto it, her limbs bound by a rope at each end, whilst the brutal suffering began. With each turn, Anne refused to name those who shared her religious views. Anne would later state, Then they did put me on the rack, because I confessed no ladies or gentlemen to be of my opinion. The Lord Chancellor and Master Rich took pains to rack me with their own hands till I was nearly dead. I fainted and they recovered me again. Anne's shoulders and hips were pulled from their sockets and her elbows and knees were dislocated. Her cries could be heard in the garden where the lieutenant's wife and daughter were walking. Anne was then moved to a private house to recover and was given another chance to confess their names. When she refused once again, she was sent to Newgate Prison to await her execution. On the 16th of July 1546, Anne was still suffering from her torture and was carried to the execution place in Smithfield on a chair as she could not walk due to the immense pain. It was reported that she was taken to the stake which had a small seat attached to it. Anne was then chained up to bind her body firmly to the stake. It was then that the fire was lit. Allegedly, Anne's executioner helped her die quickly by hanging a bag of gunpowder around her neck. She was executed along with three other men. John Bale wrote that Dutch merchants were present there and were appalled by what they had seen. Also at the time there was a huge thunderclap. This showed the displeasure of God for the tyrannous murders of the innocents. Following Anne's death, Bishop Gardiner met with Henry VIII and raised concerns about his wife's religious beliefs. Initially, Henry wasn't bothered, however he did consent in the arrest of his wife and her three leading ladies-in-waiting. Henry went to see his wife about her religious beliefs, 
and Henry began to put up with Catherine's radical views because of the good care that she took of him and how she nursed him better. Anne Askew is seen today as a martyr and is featured in the infamous Protestant book, Fox's Book of Martyrs. She was a woman of immense inner strength and courage who faced her barbaric torture and execution with extreme bravery. I hope you've enjoyed watching. To support our channel, please subscribe. Thank you once again for watching.